what is up guys what's up guys okay so i don't know if you guys have done the event yet but it's definitely really cool i i'm gonna start this video off with this uh cool cinematic they have right in the beginning they're just getting better and better i, I just want to give a shout out to lilith games so let's get right into it because i like to ramble and i don't want to do that <sighs> all right so anomaly it's changed and we have to adapt so i want to start off with explaining a couple things it's a lot thrown at you we have a chimera wither messenger scorch messenger void messenger there's three phases in this it's three weeks and certain phases unlock certain things i'm pretty sure for this first phase there's only up to floor 60 i've only gotten to 49 and uh yeah if you're further give me your tactics so also we have emergency request emergency request is you do wither messenger levels you get these what are they called crow marks you get chrome marks which give you rewards and chrome marks also will give you a chance to get one of his keepsakes these are these fugi sashimi uh, you'll get a couple of his keepsakes once you get all what is that eight of them then you can unlock yamato and he's an awesome support you can look up his support stuff yourself because that's not what we're here for um but i hear anyone who does have him already um he's he's great so during wither messenger you'll be doing a whole bunch of rounds and then you do boss rounds so every five levels you get a boss i can't scroll backwards but it went every five levels you will get crow marks of course for yamato and you will get divine essence or some other type of essence <laughs> uh these essence these essences will be for advanced strategy advanced strategy looks like a little pda pad which you will buff your espers it's got little sections you do things defeat levels it gives you currency to level up this stuff so let's take blockade for example in battles against the wither messenger and raging lion inflicts one stack of blockade upon dealing damage and an imprisoner <laughs> uh further inflicts one stack of, on blockade when blockade reaches 100 stacks inflicts level nine locked on on the target so where can i find locked on because i was trying to describe this before and it doesn't show anywhere there we go locked on it doesn't say it anywhere but basically after you hit 100 stacks you get locked on which will nullify the boss and he won't move and then you can actually do damage on him which is awesome for the anomaly uh i mean i'm sorry chimera <laughs> because they would just sit there and you could just free range attack them so also when you're doing wither messengers and you're getting this currency to actually update these i think they're called divine essence you will also get an afk idol generator it's called a power supply rewards are generated over time clear miracle messengers to improve the reward quality i'm up to 49 my reward qual quality is just a little bit higher easy peasy i'm gonna collect this one it's overtime rewards like if you've ever played any idol game it gets, just gives you stuff over time so you start upgrading Creating these things, these are obviously harder to acquire because they're a specific like rune, uh, divine essence. Um, it's an ability level up. And we also have these, which ranks up your stats for the specific divine essence. So I honestly do not know why there are different sections for this. I do know it upgrades this one. So that's called unprepared ability level up and then you have encompassing all you know in battles with raging lion and wither messenger basically rare espers each resonance fa phase grants 5.5 boost to base hp base 
attack and base defense epic espers and then legendary espers it's a huge boost obviously using legendary espers who are fully resident up you're gonna get such a boost you get 22 percent on everything base stats so that's awesome um and then we have let's see what else we have that's really good this one's good locked on takes more damage each i was taking what's this one and prisoner has 40 percent chance to inflicting two stacks of blockade that's dope chase and ambush nice we're basically attacking this poor monster and this is monster hunter um each time prisoner deals damage they gain 6.5 percent ap if target have locked on their attacks ignore damage mitigation effects which is awesome we have endless stream in battles with raging lion or wither messenger espers will gain significant attribute bonuses that's more base attack basically it's just buffing you if you've if you started to do the event you notice that everyone really has a lot of hp a lot of defense not that much attack but it's starting to get pretty hard uh for this video i do want to show you a wither messenger battle and i'm gonna show you what i use but i haven't done it yet so if i fail i'm gonna pause the video <laughs> complete it and then show you what i used so let's go all right one more thing i don't know if i really uh talked about it deep enough every element wither messenger scorch messenger and void messenger obviously has a corresponding type of esper for this event so for wither messenger you have things called imprisoners trying to lock this giant beast down and prisoner espers are stronger in this stage most of all of the wither messengers they're in, in prisoner espers i have i've yet to use any other ones so when you're swapping out units you can click this little button right here and it will show you the imprisoner obviously these are question marks so who knows what this could be i see a little looks like a spear attacker and is that an anchor don't even know what the navy seals <laughs> so let's click on a prisoner it gives you which is honestly all the wind type element but the imprisoners do more damage and they also attack a lot so uh the more legendaries you use if you're seeing my team right now i actually got mateo thank the lilith um so i got lucky but if this is my team that I use now, because obviously Parmy gives speed, plus she has, uh, you know, a lot of debuffs she can give. Stuns, sleeps, AP pushback. We also have Pritzer, stuns, no sleeps, but AP pushback. And then we have healing, which is, and he's a multi-hitter. So that imprisoned, locked on, uh move effect that we give off is affected but you know it's good you got to hit 100 stacks so people who multi-hit and attack a lot how many he attacks three times once so that's dope and then i had yun chuan in here before because he's a multi-hitter but this is what i use for the regular stages i don't think this is actually going to use for the boss because you need to keep attacking him but the levels were starting to get really hard, so I put a little bit of debuffs and speed in my team to clear the levels. So I'm honestly going to take them out because they're not multi-hits and we need that locked on for the boss. So I'm going to do the boss, like I said before. Let's take these people out. Actually, just for argument's sake, we're going to use the try, the suggested because what it does, it grabs you any espers that are going to be in prisoners. So if I pull this back, actually, no, let's not do that. Oops. I'll go back. All right, let's go to challenge. Then what I want to do is I want to show. Oh, OK, there we go. In prisoner espers. Mateo, Unas, Elaine, Ophelia, Sienna, Ahmed, Yamato, Lin, Ain, Li Guang, Li Guang. Tangyun and Balui. I haven't used any of them except for Ain. I tried her. It didn't really work out. She has shields, which is cool. Lin worked pretty nicely. I don't have Yamato yet. Ahmed's working perfectly. Sienna's working perfectly. Ophelia. I don't have skilled up. Neither do I have Elaine, and I don't have Unas. So it's kind of hard. I'm pretty sure people who have them, it's going great. So I'm going to do this one. 
We have AP, we have healing, and we have a attack buff. We have a multi-hitter. This, in all reality, should work. But if it doesn't work, it's probably because we have no immunity. And this guy actually does debuffs. So let's do the battle. Let's see how it goes. And again, if we fail, it's not the end of the world. I'll pause the video. You guys won't even see. And then I will make a team that works. All right. So as you see here, it's coming out of that portal looking all cool. So hopefully this works out beautifully. So what I've learned is that everything for this event is very long. So you want the debuffs to go out. Also, you want defense break on this guy. He goes fast. He cycles with everyone else. All five of your espers do their turn. Then he goes and he buffs himself. He gives himself an attack buff. He gives himself defense buff. And I think the last one is AP or speed, something like that. So a buff blocker is awesome. Lockdown hasn't gone off. If you see on the top left, the stacks are going up. They need to hit 100 for the locked on. It will keep. Yeah, see the locked on. If you look at the bottom, you've got a little locked on symbol on the boss. So we can all cycle through his moves without him doing anything. And we do extra damage because locked on is there. So, of course, tail hitting for hard. Buff blocker on, which is lovely. We need that to keep hitting. As long as we keep having that buff blocker, I think we can do this. Because, boy, does he hit hard. That's why Ahmed is clutch for this. Because he just keeps healing everyone, cycling everything through. We have her for more speed. So, on our little happy dot of who takes turns. Oh, so it is speed up. So, it's attack up. Defense up and speed up every time it goes. And of course, I do want to show the debuff that they put Fissure. Max HP is eroded by a certain percentage. So as the battle keeps going on, you're just slowly dying. And we need someone to clear these debuffs. Yes. Awesome. Buff blocker. Now we need a defense break. Defense break. Mateo is coming in clutch right now. I think we may be able to do this, and this will be a perfect team for you to use. If you got a lane from last event for free, Ninx, then this will work out. I, I honestly like how Lilith is planning things, because everything's starting to work together. Okay, we've got another locked on. Can't do nothing. He's just sitting there chained up. I also like the chained effect. It's pretty cool. Um, if you do the main anomaly, or the chimera you see the locked on kind of trap the master the the boss and it looks really cool this team worked i'm i'm honestly very happy because i failed a couple times so doing the levels and buffing up with advanced strategy little pda really helps because if you don't do it if you don't focus on it then it's obviously going to negatively affect you and this is really hard so now that the boss is done, before I end the video, I'm going to put the team back that I had before that was working. I had debuffs. So, and speed. So I'm going to put Parmy back in there. She also has a little bit of healing as well. Did I pass Parmy? No, there we go. And we're going to put Pritzer. Nice. Hopefully that saves. I don't know. Last thing I want to touch on is Chimera. So, I don't know if I did a video on this, but I will do a separate one. I'm going to show you my build on what worked. I'm almost finished. And this also applies to the buffs that you get from advanced strategy. See, I can upgrade something else. Let's just throw it in this. Cool, cool beans. Nope, don't have anything else. So Chimera, again, the locked on affects them. This is what I use. Mateo's great for this, obviously, because this is kind of his event as well. I'm going to show you his build. But Mateo, sending that crit damage, attack, speed. Because the more speed he does, the more damage. Then we have Yunchuan. Thunder, crit damage, attack, speed. Sienna, because 
Oh, wait. Actually, you know what? Did I switch? It's probably cool to have Alice in there because she buffs as well. But he provides... She also provides speed and attack with resonance too. I have her on HP defense speed. And then Li Guang is attack attack speed with Astral. And of course, Ahmed should be HP HP, but I'm pretty sure I'm defense HP speed. Nice. Multi-hit, this all works. And it was it's a very long battle. So I'm gonna do a sped up video so you guys can see it working uh, on another video. I hope this video helped you out. I'm gonna put timestamps so you guys can actually skip through the video, you know, to a part that you want. Um, timestamps time have really helped me with other people's videos and I enjoy them. So go ahead, be sure to look at the bottom for the description of the timestamps if you wanna go back. Again, I hope you enjoyed it and I will do another anomaly video. If you haven't seen my trial video for the event, give it a try. Uh, and of course, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments, questions, feel free to comment. My community is super small, so I can get to almost every comment. And of course, like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. I'll see you guys later. Peace.